Welcome back to Let's Play Seiken and Setsu 3. I'm still here in... Oh, I forgot what this cave's called. We went on the volcanic island, and we are trying to escape from this island before the volcano burns us to shreds. So that they'll have to identify us by our death records. Looks like that's the way out right there. And you know what, guys, you just stay over there. I can take care of those guys by myself. I'll come help, you know. Let's take a rest. Uh-oh, trapped. Uh-oh, is it boss time? Jagan. not gonna, you know, tease us before our deaths, like in every other movie and video game. You know, the villain, he's always gives out everything just before you're gonna die. And then somehow you miraculously escape, like we are going to now, <laughs> from this turtle that we saw earlier, like two episodes ago. Looks like he's going to take us all the way over to the Free City Maya, which is nice. Good turtle. He's got some funky music going on, I guess. City Maya. Thanks, Mr. Turtle. Kiss my ass. Let's go see King Richard now. And just for now, I want to clear a spot in my inventory so I don't forget later. <laughs> and you'll see why. Level 4 Phantom, so no! Wow, that experience sucks. Really sucks. Okay, Hawk, do the honors. Give me a dream serum. Well, if you're playing on an emulator like I am, and I don't know how else you would play this game, really, unless you find some way to find a Super Famicom cartridge for this. But uh, with save states, you can save your state right before you open a chest, and then if you don't get what you want, just reload the state, and um, it'll sort of randomize so you can get what you want. So. If I was going to do that, I could just save the state before I open that chest, got the magic rope, load the state, and then just keep doing that until I get a Dream Seer, which is what I really wanted. And thank you for taking us directly to Forsena again. You think they put like a mat or something? Something to cushion the blow from that fall? No, it's just hard, hard cement and stone and marble. You could break a nail that way. Hey, how did you know? Okay, so now we got information on uh, the four remaining spirits we need to find don't have to do them in this particular order, and I'm not going to, but there's a certain order you have to do them in. So Undine is in the snow country there, obviously because she's the water element. And here in the desert, we 
guessing it's going to be Salamander. Oh, it's Salamander. I thought it was Salamander in this game. I think that's what it is in Legend of Mana. And over just south of here, we find the Moonlight Forest with the Moonstone. That's where the Beastmen are from. And then over in this place that we've never seen before is... is... Mana Stone of Wood. So the order you do this in, um, you have to do tree last, and then before that you have to do the moon one. But the first two you can do in whatever order you want. You can go after Undine first, and then go after Salamando. And got Pihara with so we can summon Buskaboo, the turtle guy. Yeah, you can do Undine before Salamando, or you can do Salamando before Undine. After that, you have to go to um, moon and then tree. You can't do tree or moon right now, and you have to do tree after moon, so... There you go. So I am going to go after Salamando first. It's because, uh... Probably easier, I think. And there's also another reason. Very, very minor, but... That's still worth taking into consideration. BAM! At least there's grass there. Sort of better than landing in the courtyard of the castle. So, from Free City Maya, we just head back to the beach and we use the Pihara to summon the tur our turtle friend, Muska. Ah, Rabbites, no! Ha, huh, I spit on your one experience point. So with the PR flute, where we have access to most places, uh, we still don't have access to um, that town in where the tree spirit is. The ore, we can't get in there, and we can't get into the beast kingdom yet until we find until we find a new name well, we can go to the ice country, we can go over to the desert, we can go over to pretty much any town we've visited so far. So we really don't have to take ships anymore. I'm trying to find the quickest way to get to the desert here. There we go, and there's a nice little beach for us. This is Sand City Sultan. We've seen this a little bit during Hawk's flashback. So let's upgrade our weapons and armor now. Yeah, we've, uh, we have a lot of gold now. A lot of loot. So those are some nice upgrades. Anything up here? Sure is hot out there. Alright, let's check this house. Hmm, treasure. That's nice. <laughs> I didn't think there were any treasures lying around, really. Yeah, they are trying to take over the world. 
And just like in Kakara, we have a salesman dancing around outside. Let's get some more Pakun chocolates. And that should be good. Some guy back there, but we can't talk to him. Yeah, 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 we know. Big kitty! Where's the kitty? Come here, kitty kitty! Why, because people go into the desert or people come out of the desert? I don't understand. Monsters and ninjas, oh my. Well, at least you're alive and can stay at the bar and get drunk about it. You always gotta look at the positives. You know, when life gives you lemons, you need to make lemonade. Oh yeah, we kicked that ship's ass. There's the armor shop, but let's check out the other house first. Sure, I'll help you out with work. Duh. We're doing something way more important, guy. Ha 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 ha! No laughing matter, little girl. Well, that was an interesting bark. Alright, let's go get our armor upgraded. Angela's going to be losing her tiger bikini. It's no good. Alright, so let's check out this last house here. Papa's never coming home again. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so before we trek out in the desert, let's get our new equipment ready. Crystal rod. Not much better. Rose leotard. It's better, I guess. Oh yeah, 93 attack. And 90 defense, that's pretty good. I think attack and defense max out at 300. And it probably will max out for Kevin at least. Alright, so I guess I'll just do one battle over here in the desert and then we'll call it a day. Damn bullets. Alright, so next time on Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3, we will continue through the desert of scorching heat.